Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Luke Skywalker from Star Wars The Last Jedi. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eyes. So I'm going to move over to the left side and draw the upper eyelid. So we start on the outside, we're going to curve up and then back down. Let's leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. So we're going to line up the inside of the eyelid, curve up, then back down on the right side. Now let's tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. So I'm going to start on the left side. We're going to step in to create an overlap and draw a half circle coming down and then pulling that back up on the inside. We'll do the same thing on the right. From the inside of the eyelid, I want to curl in a frown line. Starting on the left, we're going to blend into a curve going up and then in. We'll do the same thing on the right side. On the left side of each eye, I'm going to draw a small circle for a highlight. So on the left side here, we'll draw a small circle. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now let's draw a smaller circle in the center of the eye for the pupil. So we tuck this in underneath the highlight. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. Now let's go in and fill the pupils in black. Now let's move up and draw on the eyebrow. So on the left side, I'm going to step up, we're going to curve in, and then down towards the bottom corner of the frown line. Let's do the same thing on the right. From the ends, I want to draw a short angled line going up and in. And then we'll taper this back in towards the frown line. Starting from the outside, just taper that in towards the inside of the frown line. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now in between the eyes, I'm going to step down and draw on the nose. Let's start with the tip of the nose. Starting on the left, we'll curve down and then back up. On the left side, we're going to step down and curve around the left nostril. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now just above in the center here, we're going to draw a curve for the bridge of the nose. On the bottom inside edge of the eye, I'm going to add a little eye bag. So we step in, just curve down and out on both sides. Now let's tuck the mustache in underneath the nose. So on the left nostril here, we're going to curve out and we'll pull that down. Do the same thing on the right side, going out and then down to the same height. We're going to connect those two points with a curve, going up in the middle and then back down on the right. I'm going to layer the lower lip underneath the mustache. So stepping on the left side, curve down and then back up. Now just to the side of the eye, we're going to curve out the cheeks and come down to a point in the center for the lower part of the beard. So on the left, we'll step out, curve down. I'm just going to pull this in towards a point in the middle. Let's do the same thing on the right. So stepping over towards the right, come down. I'm going to start to curve that in towards the point of the beard. Now from the top of the line, I just want to curve down and then in behind the mustache. Starting on the left, curve down and then in. Let's add a little bit of texture to the beard. Starting in the center here, we're gonna curve up and out towards the right. We'll step over, just draw a couple more curves along the side on the right. Now let's do the same thing on the left. Stepping over, curve up and out towards the left. Now we're gonna connect these two points with a large curve going up over the eyebrows in the center. Starting on the left, we'll go up, come in towards the middle, around the right eyebrow and then down on the right side. Let's add a few wrinkles along the forehead. Starting on the left, curve down, then back up. We'll step up and just draw a shorter curve going across. Now let's draw the inside edge of the hood. So from the top corner of the beard, we curve down and then out. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna round this out and then pull that in behind the beard. Blending into a curve pulling that in. Now let's draw on the outside of the hood. So in the center, we're going to step up towards the top of the head with a point. 
From here, we want to curve out and around towards the side of the head on the left. So right about there. We're going to do the same thing on the right. So we want to create a little point at the top. Going out and then down on the right. Now I'm just going to follow this curve all the way around and then just tuck it in along the bottom here. So on the left side, we're just going to blend to a curve going out and we'll round it out and just pull that in along the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the right. Blend into a curve going out, round this out, and then just pull that in along the bottom. Now that we've got the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm going to have the arm stretched out. So we're going to start with the outside part of the arm first. So just underneath the hood, curve down and then out towards the left. Do the same thing on the right. So we're going to line this up, curve down, and then out towards the right. Let's add the bottom edge of the cape. So from here, we're going to step up. On the left side, we're going to curve down in the middle, and then pull that back up on the right side. Let's add a seam along the left side here. So under the beard, we're going to curve down and out. We'll add the strap. So on the outside, we're just going to curve down and then in towards that line, and then we'll duplicate that, stepping down. And we'll add a simple buckle. We're going to step out and just draw a straight angled line. Now let's move in and draw on the sides of the body. So on the left side, right out here, curve down and then out towards the left. We'll move over towards the right and do the same thing, curving down and out towards the right. You want to add some folds in the coat. So starting on the left side, I'm just going to curve in and then up on both sides. Now from here, we're going to draw two angle lines coming up. Now we're going to overlap this with another fold. So from here, I'm going to step out, curve up, and then in. Do the same thing on the right side. Now from the inside, I'm going to draw an angled line coming up underneath the cape. And then from the outside, I just want to go about halfway. So I'm just going to curve this slightly going up. Now right in the inside here, I'm going to add the belt. So from left to right, we'll draw a straight line, step up, and draw another line going across. Now just down here, we're going to add the bottom edge of the tunic. On the left side, we're just going to curve down and then back up on the right. Now right down here, we're going to add the legs. So we're going to leave a small gap in the center. On the left side, I'm going to curve out and then down towards the heel. We'll move over towards the right side and curve in the opposite direction, down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. So from the heel to the toe, curve down and then back up. From the toe, I want to round out the top of the foot and then come back in towards the inside. So let's start at the tip, curve up. Now we're going to pull this down, aiming towards the heel. We're going to stop right about there. Then we want to reverse the curve, coming down and then back up towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right, going up, aiming towards the heel. Now we're going to curve in the opposite direction, curving up and in. From the top of the shoe, we're going to curve up and out underneath the coat. So on the left side, Curve around and then in on both sides. About halfway down the leg, we're going to add the straps of the boot. From the left side, we're just going to curve down and then back up. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're just going to follow that same curve all the way down. Stepping down, we'll draw this twice. Now let's move back up and draw on the hand. So I'm going to start on the left side. Start with the thumb. We're going to curve up. We'll round out the thumb. I'm just going to pull that back in. Let's draw in the palm. From here, I'm just going to hook it around and back down. From here, I'm going to layer three fingers going across. Starting at the base of the thumb, go straight out. We'll round out the finger and pull that back in. Now I just want to create a little bit of a gap in between the two fingers. I'm going to angle this down, round it out, back in. Do that one more time, going out and then back in. From these two points, I want to draw a curve, but I'm going to step out, just go over those lines. Now from the base of this finger, I want to curve around and then back up towards the base of the thumb. I'm going to curve around and then back out. Let's take that and flip it over on the right side. So let's start with the outside of the thumb. 
curve it up, round out the thumb, and then we'll pull that back in. Let's draw on that curve for the palm. Just hooking that around. Now we're gonna stack the fingers in an angle. Starting from the base of the thumb, we'll come out, round out the finger, and then come back in. Do that again, going out, back in. And we'll do that one more time, coming out, and back in. I just wanna draw a curve going across these two fingers. Starting at the outside, we'll curve across and up. From the base of this finger, I'm gonna curve the palm going around, and then in towards the base of the thumb. Now we're gonna add the edge of the sleeve. Starting the inside of this hand, we're gonna come down, round it out at the bottom, and then pull that up underneath the palm. Let's do the same thing on the right. And then at the bottom, we're just gonna curve it up and in behind the coat. Going up, in behind, and do the same thing on the right side. Now this cape goes around the arms and will come back in behind the body. So let's start at the bottom of this curve on the sleeve. Start with a straight line coming down. Do the same thing on the right. And we're gonna connect these two points with a curve going in behind the legs. So we're gonna come down, in between the legs, back up on the right side. And that's pretty much it. There's Luke Skywalker from Star Wars The Last Jedi. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.